Hello to my Capricorns. All right, Capricorns, let's get into it. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. All right, Capricorns, let's get into it. Thank you for supporting my channel, Capricorn. I read all the comments. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Um, like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. We do have digital journals. Those are optional, right? You definitely want to journal this year. Uh, start journaling, right? We're almost half, we're really half of the year gone. And this is a year of wealth, right? And so karmic cycles are being broken, but sacred ties are coming together. Restoration is happening. It's a lot of things, wonderful things that are happening this year for a lot of people, Pluto is currently retrograde. So like I said before, go along with the flow because a lot of great things are happening for a lot of people. So you don't want to miss it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards. already asked Most High God for complete and total clarity in your cards. I'm talking to you wherever Capricorn is in the, your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the Seven of Swords. Here we have the um, King of Swords. Here we have the Six of Swords. Here we also have the Four of Swords. Here we also have the Eight of Pentacles and then also the Ten of Pentacles. Very nice. Very nice. All right. All right. So somebody is definitely learning how to take their power back and be a little bit more strategic from two situations that, you know, almost rendered you powerless in the past. Where, you know, just like when you felt like, okay, you didn't feel like you made the best decisions and just maybe opening up and telling some people some things, you know, and maybe sharing some things you may have felt like you probably shouldn't have. And so now that those things, the number seven is a number for completion. Now you're saying, okay, I need to be a little bit more strategic, you know, and just sharing, you know, moving forward. Right. And guess what? It's okay. That's how you learn, right? You learn lessons and just move on. Right. You don't just sit there like, oh my God, I shouldn't have said something. Now I can't trust anybody. So it's just saying, you know, you learn lessons because we don't have any control over how people view us. Matter of fact, Pluto being retrograde, Pluto is the judgment card. So a lot of people are going to judge how you move on from situations, how you move on from your job. People are going to judge that. People are going to judge on how you move on. If you decide to relocate, they're going to judge that. They're going to judge who you married, who you have kids with, how you create your business, whatever. Source is saying to you, learn how to uh, be strategic in how you move forward. Some of those people will deserve a, hey, you know, I'm announcing my departure. And some people, you just move in on quietly, but you're taking your power back. So here we have the King of Swords. So I definitely see you've gained a lot of wisdom and you're finally moving on quietly. See, there's not a whole lot of water splashing here. Water symbolizes somebody is moving on to sacred relationships. And I love it. You just quietly just drifting on other people's lives. And so that number six let me know that you are not holding on to you know, those feelings of feeling powerless and, you know, holding on to any negative thoughts about whoever and whatever uh, may have said that you're deceptive and you keep secrets and those kind of things. You're just learning lessons. It's like, okay. Um, and I think you all are going to get a better understanding too. Like as we, I, I did put a video up for you all on the Patreon side, uh, talking about this next full moon, um, cause that's also along the lines of planting seeds. Cause we're going to have, we had a full flower moon and then we're going to have a neck. The next full moon is a full strawberry moon. So that's still along the line of planting seeds, but I feel like somebody is learning how to move on from, uh, from toxic relationships, uh, with self first and foremost. Sometimes when you're in pain, you think that you are sharing information with people who love you as much as you love them in friendships and social circles only to find out it comes back to bite you. So somebody is learning. Somebody is learning. Here we have the um, four of pentacles here. So you're not spending a whole lot of time, you know, on it. If it, you know, people decide to share information, hey, whatever. Here we have eight of pentacles. Now this is what you're putting your energy into. Here's the eight of pentacles. So somebody is now saying, okay, you have a lot of gifts and talents. You are focusing on at least eight streams of income. And like I said, now you're adding some kind of strategy. This is where you're headed towards. So you have a loved one that's saying when it comes to loyalty and protection, you know, as far around family, right? Because pentacles is not just paper and coins, money. It's also wealth. It's also generosity. So somebody may have been generous with some information you shared, which may have come back to bite you, right? 
speaking of dolls coming back to bite you sources saying to you but again you're you know as far as when you think about dogs you think about loyalty and protection right you there's gray area when it comes to that what you may think is loyalty and protection of information some people may not think that so sources trying to teach you not to be as generous with it like there's levels to it right and so Moving forward, all those two energies serve to do, two types of energy serve to do was get themselves cut out of this wedding. Get themselves cut off from access to you, right? Access to this very fruitful life that you're building for yourself. And that's it. I mean, really, that's it. That's it and that's all. We have almost 9 billion people on the planet. Like I said before, sources exposing karmic relationships in your life while bringing together sacred ties. And so... That water, the moon is in Pisces, and Pisces is a water sign. It's the last sign in the zodiac. And, psych and, and Pisces is wired to be a, with psychic uh, abilities, right? It's the last sign in the zodiac. We're not talking about any Pisces that you know, but it's ruled by Neptune and also Jupiter. So Jupiter is the planet of good luck, good fortune, um, uh, abundance, optimism, and all of that, right? And then Neptune is that... This sign of like, you know, uh, secrets and um, illusions and imagination and spirituality and dreams. So a lot of people have been having a lot of dreams, a lot of downloads about things. And so Source really wants you to start dreaming bigger. Don't give a whole lot of energy to the, you know, past, which you may have shared with people and how they may have tried to use it against you. That's just a distraction. So like I said, all they did was betray. All some people did was possibly betray some trust. And that's it. Just move on from it you know, move on from it. So let's get, let's see what else we got going on here. So it's all good. Like I said, source is the one that's doing cleanup for you. Source is the one that's doing cleanup. So when you open up to friends at your, at your darkest hour and, and you're sharing certain things with them and they turn around and use it against you for whatever reason, you sharing your hopes and dreams and they use it against you. Guess what? They just cut themselves off from the list. So if you're about to have a celebration or party, guess what? You just say whatever the bill was going to be for the food. You know how people's like, okay, gosh, each person was going to cost this amount of money for the food. They now they off the list. You don't have to pay that bill. So, you know, and of course, and I'm just trying to make a little jokey joke, trying to lighten the mood here. But you know what I'm saying? It's deeper than that because it's a sword cut. So, you know, just trying to put a smile on somebody's face. But the bottom line is... The bottom line is that you're now putting, you, you went from, you spend less time thinking about it. Now you're putting more time in investing in yourself. So now you got at least eight gifts and talents and you're creating multiple streams of income. Here we go. Yeah. You just left a nightmare behind. So good for you. You've awakened from a nightmare. Somebody learned, Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing so much talking here. We have the two of wands or two types of energies. You left the disruption of peace behind. You have the whole world in front of you now. And we also have the three of wands right here. Yeah. And so now the uh, energies are kind of sort of coming back from the, the energy is coming from the past. Like, you know, sometimes you have downloads and, uh, you know, sources saying, okay, I'm, um, you have the whole world. See this right here, all this water right here. And also you see water right here too. Remember water, you have a, a sea of sacred relationships all around the world that you're building, right? Don't worry about anything coming back to bite you because, like I said before, um, sacred ties, sacred relationships are coming together. Balance is being restored to the earth, right? So it's going to keep everybody humble, right? So for every time somebody tries to come back from your past to try to bite you, something from their past is going to try to bite them. That's why you don't have anything to worry about. All you need to do is focus on continuing to move forward. That's it. That's it. You just have a loved one. Like I said, you have a loved one that's just trying to explain to you there's this gray area when it comes to loyalty and protection around family, whether you consider your friends as family, blood relatives or not. So that's all they're saying. But I see you having a very rich um, family. Here we have nine of cups. Your wishes are being fulfilled, Capricorns. Your wishes are being fulfilled. So put that list together. Here's a death card. You're on the rebirth side. <laughs> You're on the rebirth side. So, yes, a whole new you. You took your power back. There it is. That's right. The magician card speaks of taking your power back, right? You're no longer confusing your mind. It would be the dark side. Dark side of the magician card will be a person who is confused, disorganized in your thinking. You're not disorganizing your thinking. You're, you're on the rebirth side. So, you're saying 
Okay, you moved on from the nightmare. You've awakened and you, you're up now. Here's the lover's card. So somebody's like some kind of partnership in business and in love are coming across your path. So it's a whole new you. It's a whole new you on this rebirth side. So yeah, this not you're not going back to certain energies. Here we have high priestess. Now that's what brought out somebody's gifts. So if you've been if you've been um, tuned into this channel for quite some time, and we've been talking about your ancestors and how they've been, and you still have a lot of them around you, by the way, Capricorn. But we've been talking about your ancestors and how they've been with you, and you know how your ancestors don't play about you. And we've been kikiing and laughing the whole time about your ancestors. They 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 about that life. <laughs> So your ancestors are they really are not playing, but they'll really now they have helped you to bring out these high priestess gifts. High priestess gifts just really mean you're intuitive. That's what it really, really means. It's like a fancy what kind of like a fancy way, like you have access to the unknown, right? And so you just learn how you learn. You're on the rebirth side. And so this is a gift that's been passed down to you, and they're just sharing with you, like, you know. When it comes to loyalty, like those are things that you want to talk about up front when it comes to family loyalty, whether it's friendship, you know, fa like family or, you know, blood relatives or whatever, that kind of thing, you know, loyalty. And so somebody is just leaving behind a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff and how people will turn around and try to use things against you if they feel like money is involved. Right. So here we have uh, Queen of um, Queen of Wands. So I definitely see you sitting on your throne, adjusting your crown. Um, uh, allow your attitude to, to determine your altitude. And so somebody is really just encouraging you to, you know, stay focused, keep your vibrations high. This is good. We're going to go ahead and get ready to close this out. Here are your questions for the moon in Pisces as you continue to flush off these wounds and move forward. Flush off these wounds and move forward. I feel like somebody's praying for you all. I feel like somebody is praying. If you're single and you desire to be, you know, if you're single and you desire to be married, I feel like a loved one who uh, is praying that you do end up like this. They like they're praying that you um, wake up from any kind of nightmares. They've been having nightmares about stuff, so they're really tapped into you. They're tapped into whatever it is you're going through. Um, And they're hoping that, you know, they see that whatever trance that you've been under. So somebody definitely put some kind of a spell. Um, somebody must have been under some kind of spell. And they see that you you awaken from some kind of spell. And, a, and the way that the spell was put on somebody was just maybe saying the same thing over and over and over again. And so they're really saying that they, they hope Cupid's bow hits you. They're saying that, you know, that somebody that... You meet someone who loves you as much as like they have a big heart, like you have a big heart that you meet somebody who genuinely loves the way that you love, that you all have the same love language. So whoever that is for, I don't know who's single, who's been, you know, thinking about entering into, um, you know, new love uh, relationships and things like that. But then you also have a loved one on the other side that's saying about, you know, gray area. See, that's a darker version of gray, lighter version of gray and says so it's not always black and white. There's like giving some, it's some gray area. So I do see somebody having a baby, you know, in the cards, whether the baby is like a baby is not always human baby. So it, it could be a human baby, but it could be like you and your person um, deciding to like start a business together. That could be your baby. That could be uh, projects together. It could be a pet baby, um, those kind of things. You and somebody building something together, right? And um, somebody is really trying to speak something over your life. Like, so it's about, you know, high time. There's some great news, not just good news, but some great news happen for you all. You know, where you just, because you deserve it. You really, really do deserve it. You know, Capricorn, that your wishes are being fulfilled, you know, in your life. Here we have the Empress card. Yeah, somebody's mother. Somebody's mother or grandmother, you know, saying to you, you know, speaking some good news over your life. Could be, a, you know, a very uh, nurturing kind of energy, whoever that is for somebody. Here we also have the Five of Cups because they know that you've been, um, you know, lamenting over something in the past, like trying to move on from some things and get your wishes fulfilled. So here we also have the Five of Swords here. Um, so, yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're, um, 
your anxiety about something is going to come to an end very, very soon. So it's really time to do the mirror work and not let something drive you crazy, like something from the past not drive you crazy. I did a reading for another zodiac sign, and somebody would be people will be surprised at how much how families put spells on people, right? Like saying the same thing over and over and over again in a negative sense, right? And um, and how spells of family spells are being broken, right? And how that's passed down to other people's kids and stuff like that. But yes, yeah, somebody is saying to you on the, from the other side, they're saying to you, you know, you're cutting ties with all of that and like things are being broken through the generations like spells are being broken through the generation this right here connects us with pluto through scorpio right so in other words toxic toxicity is being broken right so to give you an opportunity to flush all of those things out really tap into the light side of your gifts because if you don't know like the dark side of a uh, high priestess energy is self-delusion like you literally feel like you're going crazy if you don't know you're like oh my god okay i'm not getting this how come other people are gifted and talented and i don't know i can't make sense of it it can literally look like you feel like you belong in a straight jacket and so somebody is saying you don't have to let this drive you crazy at all yeah so here we have seven of wands so i definitely see you um, being able to defend your decision to move on from something that you know would have you know you know, kind of threaten to drive you crazy without, you know, being defensive. Here we have the Eight of Cups. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. Somebody is finally just moving on from something. And again, you're, um, you know, and staying focused, right? So just learning how to develop some kind of a, um, some kind of a strategy. You and somebody learning how to develop some kind of strategy, you know, moving forward. Let me see. Hmm. Um, yeah, a lot of things are coming to light. When I look at your cards here, a lot of things are coming to light. I definitely feel like you are um, about to be booked and busy, not burdened, not carrying other people's burdens on your shoulders, like the weight of other people's world on your shoulders. I definitely feel like you're moving on from that. So it's all good when I look at your cards. I got to, when I do, when I'm reading, I'm walking it back through, you know, through time. Remember time is relative. So like this card right here, walking it backwards. Like, you know, you learning how to develop some kind of a strategy, you know, moving forward. So let's see what else we got going on here. Yeah, so that moon in Pisces can be overwhelming for a lot of people because Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. Matter of fact, the, the symbol are two fish tied together swimming in opposite directions, right? And so it is a, it's a very, it's a, it's known for, the sign is known for its compassion. If somebody's going to feel very lucky. Somebody's going to feel, uh, and that's Jupiter, one of the ruling planets. Somebody's going to really make a decision to start dreaming bigger. Like, okay, the past is the past. I'm moving on from that. I'm not going to let it drive me crazy. You know, I'm going to let Pluto continue uh, rebalancing Mother Earth. I'm going to focus on moving forward. I'm going to journal. I'm going to get all of this out of my system. You know, um, clean, continue cleaning off these wounds. I'm moving forward. So here's the chariot card. And that's what you're being rewarded for. That's what you're being rewarded for. You know, not continuing to mourn the past, but continue to f move forward. You're not looking for people's acceptance and approval anymore. And so you're moving forward. So you and somebody are moving forward, putting all your, your, you know, instead of spending eight hours a day mourning and grieving the past, you and somebody are moving forward and investing in yourselves. Here we also have the nine of swords coming through a long and arduous journey. Oops. Temperance card. Yeah, somebody definitely has a guardian angel on the other side helping you through this. Like a chief guardian angel helping you to resolve some kind of internal conflict. People don't believe in. I mean, people don't believe that people can put spells on you. But it's. I mean, literally, it's like a. It's like somebody saying something to you like over and over and over again, and you really believe in it, really internalizing it. Here we have the Ace of Wands. Your third eye is wide open. Mm-hmm. 
So now somebody is moving forward and saying, now that you're you're on the other side of something, it's not your responsibility to give a lot of energy to what people think about you. You know, like what people think about your past, what people think about um, um Yeah, what people think about your past. Here we also have the Eight of Wands. So you're getting away from that fast. You're just like, you're getting away from just overthinking it. Source is about to fast track somebody to this right here. So love life. if that, And also here, right here, marriage for somebody. So congratulations. And possibly a baby. You know, you know, a human baby or baby project or whatever. Like a whole new life you're giving birth to. Because Empress card... Um, connects us with abundance and potential fulfilled, right? And so you're getting away from energies that was trying to limit your abundance. That's what source is getting you away from, just like getting you away from all those energies that were trying to limit your abundance. Three of Pentacles, everything is lining up perfectly because that's what somebody really, really wanted was just teamwork. That's what somebody was looking for. Somebody was like, I just want to just teamwork. That's what somebody's looking for in this right here, you know, in there. Um, yeah, that's what somebody's looking for, teamwork. Teamwork to make the dream work. Here we have the Six of Swords and also the Eight of Swords. So I definitely feel like somebody's going to really, really get into doing um, energy work. When I look at your cards, I feel like somebody's definitely um, focusing on energy work. Doing the, the mirror work from now on. Uh, Six of Swords coming out twice. You're moving through a rite of passage. Um, just a lot of hurt and pain. Just, you know, waking up from nightmares here anxiety going away yeah it's all good so if you're already married it's going to feel like somebody hit a reset button on your marriage because like i said a lot of things are coming to light and so that's just like um a rebalance restoration of peace in somebody's marriage if you just if you're single and you desire to settle that like meet your person i feel like somebody's gonna meet their person so congratulations to that like i said everything is lining up perfectly for you you just desire teamwork your head and heart are no longer at war with each other as it relates to re just just relationships in general yeah some energies are going through a tower moment it just wasn't meant for you to survive um certain things there were some energies that just did not want you to evolve unfortunately but here you are evolving continuing to evolve so i'm happy for you all because if this is what you want this is what you'll have if this is what you want this is what you'll have you know this is right if you want it like i say abundant life then speak it into existence somebody's learning how to break spells on themselves so if somebody says hey you, you're not smart enough to do something. Somebody is speaking it, like literally doing the mirror work saying, yes, I am. I am smart enough. I'm smart enough to go to school, to do whatever. Somebody is just like really changing it, like looking at yourself and and um, changing courses, you know, within yourself, like just doing the mirror work. So here are the questions for you for the moon and um, Pisces. First question is, could you keep opening, um, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love. Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? The fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? Yeah. So you're divinely protected. That's what this tower card is. You're divinely protected. you're divinely protected so journal your journey and open your vault door you have the gift of clairsentience you pick up on others vibrations their emotions their moods their feelings um yeah you're just moving through a rite of passage and so is someone else um let me see just waking up from a nightmare I feel like uh, somebody is creating some online businesses because I'm seeing your your wishes are being fulfilled, you know, after kind of sort of moving beyond, like maybe possibly lamenting over some things from the past. And like I said, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other, you know, as you just continue to 
some energies are just not happy without you, whoever these energies are. Somebody initiated a lot of stuff. These are energies that are disorganized, very stern and inflexible, um, just very toxic energies who just did not want you to um, just just they were holding on to something like really, really holding on to something, just obsess, obsessively holding on to something. So like I said, you know what? It's not even about you entering into your vault door because you're already inside your vault door because you left them behind. That's what that really means. It's like you're already in there. So yeah, eight and three is 11. So you don't even remember 11 is a master number. So it, it symbolizes light, L-I-G-H-T. All you need to do is get off the fence, stop overthinking it. Bottom line is that you require teamwork. That's it. You're trying to, you got at least eight streams of income teamwork makes the dream work it sounds corny but for real <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work you don't need a bunch of friction when you're trying to you you know sword fighting and blowtorch going at it when you're trying to you know you're trying to get this together right here you're not on opposite sides of the table you know you're trying to put this together right here it's not sleeping with the enemy you know so that's what source is trying to tell somebody is like when you're talking about this right here and you're talking about entering into a covenant. You first entered into a covenant with you and source within, right? So you're saying, you know, you vow to whatever with yourself. You're at peace with yourself. And that's all you attract in people who are at peace with themselves, not people who are obsessively trying to make the tower fall on you. It's like, okay, if I can't have you, nobody else will. I'm going to ruin your life. Like, you're not. Get away from those people. Here we have journal your journey. Open your vault door ancestors are proud of you somebody's not happy without you but they're not happy with themselves so like i said if you're already married i see somebody hitting a reset button and it's about to be happier if you're single and you desire to be married sit down and put that list together for real like what they would they look like on the outside and inside and don't entertain anything except what you wrote because they're coming in yep they're coming in Life is about to get so much better for somebody. Solar plexus chakra cleanse. So this would look like, um, you know, of course you can go on YouTube and like look up like all the chakra cleanse. You, I would suggest do a whole chakra cleanse right on YouTube. But this is like solar plexus chakra is like doing uh, leg lifts and uh, core strengthening uh, yoga, core strengthening Pilates, that kind of stuff. Those kind of exercises. Like when you say I, I'm going to do this, I can see you just what you're saying. I can see myself you know, with my person, I can see myself settling down. You know, I can see myself expanding my family. I can see myself in sacred relationships, uh, where people want to see me win just as much as I see them win. But somebody is learning also what their love language is too. And so, and also being able to express that. So you have the gift of deja vu, remembering the future. So your mental health is just as important as your physical health. And so somebody hasn't been completely honest with you. So everything in moderation, yeah, it's time to step through that portal. Heart chakra cleanse. Hey, you deserve the best. Be patient. The answers are coming. Yeah, somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. So speak this, whatever it is you want, into existence. And if you decide you want to be single, these remember these two people are one also. Like This is the divine masculine to the divine feminine. Bottom line is that you have taken your power back. You are no longer disorganized in your thinking. You have complete and total clarity of thought. You know, your high priestess gifts are becoming sharper and sharper every day. Your creativity is growing. Source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road. Like I said before, you're on the rebirth side. You have a guardian angel watching over you. You're focusing on your purpose on planet Earth. So you're divinely protected. So it's all good. It's all good. So that's what I have for you. That is what I have for you, Capricorns. That's what I have for you. That is what I have for you. That's what I have for you. So, channeling. So, you're getting off of their channel. Whatever channel they're on, uh, vind, you know, vindictive or whatever, they on, whatever that channel is, get off of that channel. Because that high priestess energy will allow you to go down to lower frequencies to pick up what they're talking about and whatever they, whatever they on. You're at a higher frequency. But see, source will show you that number seven, two, and five is seven. Source will show you what's going on and say, hey, you know what? Say to yourself, I am pure magic. Because you are. You are. Something had to bring out your gifts, though. 
you've always been divinely protected. That's why you all kept saying that tower card come out because you you you've always been divinely protected. I saw a couple of you all put comments in previous videos like, "Oh my God, I'm tired of." <laughs> Some of y'all kept saying, I am so tired of seeing that tower card. <laughs> and there it is again. Now you'll start appreciating that tower card. That's you being protected. So there's some upheavals going on right now, but you're divinely protected. But yeah, come off of that negative channel. Like for real, like, you know, you want to talk about balance, right? So then the reality is, is that you still got a whole lot of stuff, you know, going on in the world, but you... You're choosing to be on the rebirth side. You're choosing to focus on this. You just, this is what you're trying to attract. And this is what you're trying to attract. And you're trying to increase this and this. And, you know, your purpose and all of that. So that means, okay, if that's the energy I want to attract, I need to be on that channel to attract that. I already know what's down there, right? And you already know who's on that channel. So you got to keep your vibrations high so you can attract what you said you, you're speaking into existence. And that's what you're doing. There it is, manifestation. That's right. Look at your ancestors in the trees. Right, so 23. Sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips. At other times, they dwell in the depths of your soul. It is a dance between you and spirit as the magic unfolds. See that color yellow right there? I was talking about solar plexus chakra. That's leg lifts. That's, you know, um, that's core strengthening exercises. You know, because you like trying to move from your core. You're like, okay, you feel stronger. And so make sure you love, learn what your love language is so you can, ex you can um, express that to people, you know, family members, friends, all of that, okay? That is what I have for you all. Thank you for joining me. Um, let me make sure we got the questions for the moon in Pisces. First question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds? I think I gave you these, but just in case somebody didn't get them. Second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least is, do you clean?